Hey everyone, it's the Eclectic Candyman here today filling out my Craftsman USA reversible ratcheting wrench set with the missing 19 millimeter wrench. Let's check it out. All right, so here I have my Craftsman made in the USA reversible ratcheting wrench set. Now I've already reviewed this on my channel. I'll leave a link up here if you want to check it out. But as I mentioned in the video, there was one size that was missing. It's the open stock 19 millimeter. And let's take a look at the catalog here after mentioning that. So this is originally, and this again is the 2005, 2006 Craftsman catalog. And here's the original set. If I zoom in here on the metric set, which was the eight piece set right here. You'll notice it came with eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, and 18. But the 19 millimeter, which is shown here as open stock item 0942430, which was about $22.5 right there, was again an open stock. So you would have had to have gone to the store. Traditionally, the 19 millimeter did not come in the set and you would have bought that separately. I find the 19 millimeter size to actually be quite often used. I've used it recently when I've been working on my car. I had pulled it out and I had used this one right here, which is my non-USA open stock 19 millimeter. This one is not the reversible ratcheting. It is ratcheting, you just have to flip it over. But this is a different set. I've shown this before. This is not the one in question today. I wanted to go ahead and fill out this set and I waited patiently over a year tracking down and was able to get the 19 millimeter size. So let's check it out. And there we have it. The Craftsman USA. Let's take a look here closely. Craftsman USA 19 millimeter reversible ratcheting. That is a nice feature, by the way, because then you don't have to flip the wrench around. If you got on the, you know, you're inside a tight spot, you can just kind of flick it. That's what I do like about this set and flip it over. And can you believe it? Check it out. The price tag from Sears, I'll flip it over again so you can see it, is still on there. 19 millimeter has a date of April 18th, 2007, 42430. I'm not going to take that off for right now. It is covering up the part number that's engraved on it. So the series there, I think, let's go ahead and pull out the other ones. I think they were all the same. So that says GKF, although that says G right there. I believe it's probably a series GKG, like this nine millimeter version I have in the set. But anyway, for now, I'm going to leave that on there. I don't collect things, as I always mentioned. I will, I will definitely use this. So I will end up taking that off eventually. But for right now, this is such a, a neat thing because if you can even find this 19 millimeter one, it doesn't come up often. It's usually pretty beat up and somebody's getting rid of it. To find it in this condition and essentially it would have been hanging at Sears right like that. There's the price tag. Would have checked it out. And so to have it in this condition, I'm... I'm pretty impressed. So there you have it. Now I have finished out the set and I can go ahead and add that in. And there you have it. I have the entire reversible ratcheting wrench set from eight millimeter all the way up to 19 millimeter. That was fun trying to track that one down, but again, I had to be a little bit patient and I have the whole set. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this look at finding those missing pieces in a tool set for my craftsman made in the USA reversible ratcheting wrench set. Until next time, this is the Eclectic Candyman. We'll see you later.